Feel me? I'm ends with the lens. It's your boy Pet Mando. Man, today we got untold stories, man. Y'all not ready for this one. We got the cutty that's three C's down. You feel me? Bro, Hogan ah, High General. Sure. You dig what I'm talking about? It's a, you know, it's a, it's a privilege, man, to have him on the show, man, and you know, talk about some real untold stories, man. You feel me? Like direct in the flesh. You dig? Man, what's going down? How you doing, bro? I'm doing great, baby. Just to kick it off, bro, how'd you come up with the name Sugar Wolf, man? How'd that originate? I got named Sugar Wolf on the flute. If you know anything about Crest niggas, right? What we do is SIG. If you don't know what SIG in is, SIG in is capping, playing the dozens, making roasting. jokes. Yeah, roasting, all that shit. So I had a partner that moved to the Crest from Compton. So, you know, just on some Crest shit, that nigga didn't have no name. Didn't nobody give a fuck what his name was. When he moved to the Crest, that's what his name was. To this day, that nigga name is Compton. That's how the Crest moved. Where you from? That's your name. Yeah. You from uh, yeah. Alpine, nigga, you moved to the Crest, nigga, your name gonna be Alpine. Yeah. So, my nigga moved to the Crest from Compton, right? And you know, I fuck with him. You know, we fuck with him. Tough, that's my nigga. So, we with the joke shit. So, I be calling him all kind of, you know, Compton Crip jokes and shit. And one day he hit me back and said, oh, this nigga think he BG Sugar Wolf with the woo woo woo, right? So at the time I was playing football and we was playing Monterey. I was playing for City College in Frisco and we were playing Monterey. And I told their ass up in the first half. So coach was like, Norton, you can put on your street clothes. You ain't playing no more. So when I, 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 got, I could put on my street clothes, nigga, I put my Kango on, nigga. Comb my perm down, put my on. ponytail back in, went out. I'm like, look at these hoses, it's hoes out here. So I'm, I'm out there while my team playing the rest of the second half. I'm talking to the bitches. And the, I got my jersey on, so the bitches know, listen, I just rushed for 150 yards in the first Easy. half. I want y'all to still know this is who I am, number 34, the nigga that did that. So the bitches was on me and shit. And every time they asked me my name and shit, I'd be on some funny shit and be like, what? My name Big Daddy Sugar Wolf Pimp, <laughs> right? And them bitches was on it. So when it came time for the pick a rap name or whatever, I told Kyrie my rap name is Doobie. He was like, that's what you want? Just Doobie? That's it? I'm like, oh, okay, well shit. Doobie, aka Sugar Wolf Pimp. And I just ran with it. But first, Sugar Wolf was a joke. Right. You know what I mean? It wasn't no hood name. You know, every nigga from the crest know, that really know me, they know me as Doobie. Right. You feel me? Real motherfuckers, my family, my grandmama, my mama, my daddy, my mama named me Doobie. So, you know, my real nickname in the crest, whatever, is Doobie. Why she named me Doobie? Huh? Because when she got pregnant with me, that was the end of her joint. Mm -hmm. She okay. stopped smoking weed when right, she was right, pregnant. Right. So, you right. feel me? Doobie. Change your life. Doobie meant, you know, the end of the joint. So, when I got, when she got pregnant with me, that was the end of her joints, cause back then they smoked joints. Right. So my nickname was Doobie. My, you know, my whole family. You know, even right now, when it be a bitch or something, be like, I'ma call you Major. Everybody, call, I said, you call me Major. The real people go know you an alien. You must know me from school or somewhere else, right. cause everybody that really know me, yeah, they know me as Doobie. Right. But Sugar Wolf, that was a name that was like, you know, a, a joke. You feel me? And I, just to be funny, right. I took it and ran with it. And right. then, you know. So that came I, later on in life? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, you know, and I, what Sugar Wolf is today, 
come from a nigga seeing it in a joke and me being funny with my partner like right. nigga look what I made out that name that you was joking right, and dating. Right. Blew it up. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you really when you drop that album, that Sugar Wolf album. What? 22? 22. Yeah. You, you was born in uh, Vallejo too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was born in Vallejo, Country Club, Crestside, California. Came home from Kaiser, straight to the Crest. Right. Ain't never knew nothing but the Crest. Right. Had two grandmamas from the Crest, my daddy from the Crest, my mama from the Crest, both my granny from the Crest. So I grew up not knowing nothing but the Crest. Right. I was babysat in the Crest. Right. All that shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. One of my grandmamas stayed up the hill from my other grandmama. My mom and daddy had a house on Mark Street, so it wasn't nothing but crush shit for me growing right, up. Period, you know what period. I mean? So that's why I rep it the way I rep it. That's all I know. Right. I never lived nowhere else in Vallejo, you feel me, to tap in with. You know, like maybe I'm from the Crest and I lived over yeah. here to them niggas or whatever. It been, that, that's why when I say crush shit and no shit, that's exactly what I mean. Right. It could be nothing else. Right. Period. You feel me? If I yeah. in Vallejo, Vallejo niggas that know me, from other spots, from South Lil, Beverly Hills, or whatever, they'll look at me as, nigga, you on some funny shit if you was anything but from the crest. Right. Because we only know you from the crest. Right. You feel me? So, you know, born and raised. So, before you was making music, you was playing ball? Baseball at six years old in Northern Little League. And I started playing Pop Warner at nine years old before I was Lil Pop Warner. I played a little basketball, GV, GVRD, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger in elementary. And then I played in, uh, for the Omega Boys Club. But I didn't really like basketball. Right. You feel me? I was a baseball, football nigga. Right. So, you know, I played, I was a dog. I mean, every sport I played, I was a dog in the shit. You right. know, my name was mentioned with the who's who in them sports. Right. So baseball, I started playing baseball at six years old, North Little Little League, and Pop Warner at nine years old before I left Pop Warner. Your first year playing football, that's when you knew you was dope? Or? Keep it 100. My first year at Pop Warner, my daddy, my daddy was my coach. You feel me? And my daddy was one of them niggas that was like, you not going to take my credit. Like, just because I'm the coach, right. I put my son in. So my first year of uh, baseball, my daddy had me on the bench. Right. My first year of football, mm -hmm. my daddy put me on defense while he coached offense to be like, nah, you're not going to make it like I'm trying to make my son the right. star. Right. So <clears throat> how I really got turned on in football as far as the offense, one of the starting running backs got hurt, and I was the backup. And once I came in, when he got hurt, it was over. I never... You know, from then on, it was, I ranked with all the starting running backs from then on. But my daddy tried to like downplay it to be like, you know, to show everybody, nigga, even this, this being this being my son, right. he gonna have to earn his spot. Right. You feel me? So, <clears throat> baseball, first year, I was, but the second year, that's when I turned on. Seven years old, baseball, I turned on. Football, I turned on from day one. They were saying you was hella fast. Like, how fast was you? How old was you running in your 40? I ran 4 three forty in jeans and socks, racing Bobby Brooks in high school. Honestly, bro, I don't think people understand that's gonna watch this, know how fast <coughs> that is. That's like, that's world-class speed right there. Bro. I didn't know how, I, four three, bro. I didn't know four how fast sure. it was. Right. But four I didn't four. know how fast it was because I wasn't the only nigga around here right. running that fast. Right. Mm. You had Marcus right. Bishops right. from the Crest running that fast. You had David Flowers right. running that fast. You know what I'm saying? You had numerous niggas running that. You had Ali Evans right. running that fast. Right. You know what I'm saying? If not faster than that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know. That's some boys out here. Yeah, Vallejo yeah. bred athletes before right. the rap shit, right, right. the street shit. That's why, like, I feel Vallejo motherfuckers, as far as what they into, they attack it the same way they attack the sports. Right. You feel me? A lot of the Vallejo teams, we wasn't a big city, but the athletes that came from this city came to 
compete with real deal athletes from big cities. Right. So, yeah, you know, that transferred over from the athlete shit to the street shit, to the rap right. shit, to the whatever, you feel me? So, you know, the real niggas from Vallejo that come up through that chain, that's how they look at everything. You feel me? Like, oh, it's a competition. Right. You know what I mean? That I'm a place and I will not place last. Like, you feel me? Yeah. I'm a place. I might don't get first in everything. I'm gonna get first in something, something. but I ain't gonna get last in nothing. You feel me? I'm a place. So it's that mentality coming from the as far as the athletes, you know, that's where we come from. That was our era. And I feel a lot of that is lost right now because the younger generation, they don't really have sports as the outlet. You know what I mean? Right, right. We came from sports as the outlet and bled that outlet into other things that we was into. Right. You feel me? Even if it was the street. When niggas stopped playing sports, the niggas that played sports that went to selling dope, they sold dope like the same way they competed in the streets. I mean, in, in, the same way they competed in sports. Right. It was, you learned how to comp compete without complaining yeah. and crying. Right. If this man better than you, then you got to better yourself right. to be better than him. Right. You don't cry, you don't hate, right. you don't do none of that. You, you feel up, me? Man. We was we, we was right. built like that's real nigga shit. Right. You know what I mean? Real nigga shit ain't if this nigga knocking bitches and I ain't hating on him is an option. Right. Nah, nigga, I need to analyze my game, right. figure out why this nigga right. beating me and get better at what I'm doing right. so I can compete with shit. this nigga true because shit. I'm tired of this nigga knocking more bitches than me. <laughs> I'm tired of this nigga getting more money than me. Right. You feel me? So that's how it was with my era. You feel me? And and true enough, I can't blame the younger, younger generation for whatever they going through because by rights, it should be passed along from the older generation. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of the younger niggas that I fuck with, that's why I come from and, and fuck with them the way I fuck with them because I know how important the information is because I know how important it was when it was passed on to me. Right. You feel me? I come up under some of the Kevin Deans and, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Ed, Ed, Ed Bonnerantz and shit, the, the, the dog niggas that came before me for the athletes. You know what I'm saying? And that was the first thing that you that that you tapped in with the athlete shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Before we had street dreams and shit, you, nigga, you had all these niggas from Vallejo that was looking at, nigga, can I make it in baseball? Can I make it in football? Can I make it in basketball? Can I make it in sports? You know what I'm saying? So you learn, like I said, you learned how to compete. And when you branched off from sports or whatever, carry that shit with you, you carry that into whatever field you went into. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, how many how many yards did you average in like your junior year once you got to like high school and then you started really started My high school out? junior year, I played linebacker. Oh, okay, you were smacking shit. Yeah, my court, my, my, my coach in here, he wasn't, he wasn't from Vallejo. Oh, okay. See, he, he didn't know the lineage yeah. that I came from for right, right. run, playing running back all through Pop Warner. He didn't know nothing about that. So my first year, I had to play wherever I could play right, right. to get on the team. Right. You feel me? I started off at outside linebacker, and it was like we 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 blew out a team our last game, and he put other motherfuckers in, and that's how I first got to run the ball in front of the coach. And he was like, "Ooh!" And then when we went from that game to the playoffs. I ran down a nigga that had a USC, USC scholarship. Next year, it was like, okay, we're gonna try Norton in the backfield, which wasn't new to me, it was new to him. Right. You feel me? So I was like, I'm, I'm right where, and I grew up playing fullback. So now that I'm a tailback, you know, which really my size was tailback all through Pop Warner, but my daddy made me play fullback just to be like, now nah, you gonna run the tough shit. You gonna learn how to run up the middle. You gonna learn how to hit niggas. You not gonna run from contact. You not gonna be out here trying to juke everybody and shit. Mm -hmm. So when I did become tailback, I was on my Bo Jackson shit. I had the speed to run away from you, but I wasn't scared to run you over. That's like this rap shit. You know, I got the look, the finesse of motherfucker, but I ain't never been scared to play that goon shit. You know, what I'm saying? I ain't never been scared to play the game of, of what you might call a ugly nigga. 
Right. I ain't never had a pretty nigga complex. Right. You feel me? I sport a black eye, busted lip, like a like a like a motherfucking medal of war, nigga. Right. Like, yeah. You know, it ain't about. I don't gotta win every war, but long as any nigga know, nigga, I come to compete. Right. You not gonna get an easy win dealing with me. So that's how it. That's how I look at everything.